So the buy list is no longer paying out in cash. When you think of a buy list, I think of, oh, I'm going to get cash, right? Yes, there's a option that you can get a trade bonus, but I don't know too many people who really take that option when you go on our buy list like Star City Games, Channel Fireball, Card Shop Live, or whatever his name is right now. Uh, the idea is not to come away with more cards. The idea is to cleanse um, yourself from the game. And many times when people sell on a buy list, it is uh, they don't want to put more work into it. Um, yes, you get more work if you sell on TCG Player. Yes, you get more work when you sell to eBay, uh, even after fees is considered. But no, it really does not make too much sense to, you know, if you just want to get rid of it, people buy list it. Now, when they're buy listing something, let's say you want to sell your entire Magic Collection, you are expecting to get cash back. You're not expecting to get credit. The last thing you would want when you're trying to sell your collection is to just get more cards. That would be catastrophic for many reasons, main, main, mainly because the cards that you're receiving back are because of how the buy list works are going to be significantly less valuable than the cards you gave them. So if um, you use a buy list, most people use a buy list when they want to move off their collection. Uh, maybe they have a kid, maybe they have a mortgage, maybe they have something to pay. Um, there's a many, many reasons people need money today. Uh, financially, it is pretty difficult times as uh, any newspaper will tell you. Uh, inflation, yeah, inflation. So we have a scenario where what you thought was an easy way to sell your collection and kind of just rub, you know, is rub your hands off from magic is no longer possible or feasible. I fully expect uh, many of these buy lists to be so low or to be uh, store credit only moving forward because as Rudy Chan said, people are bringing huge collections via buy list and it's overtaxing the system. And um, the reason they want to give store credit is they need to get rid of these cards. So it's a very different scenario than in COVID times when they got rid of the buy list, right? Um, in that time, they don't they didn't have that many cards. So what, what happened is very simple in my mind. You bought a ton of cards and now you have to offload them but you don't have cash. So you have to accelerate the uploading. Cash flow is very, very, very important now. So you have to accelerate um, the, the speed that you can offload these in probably incredibly valuable, incredibly vintage cards. And if you're not able to, then your company may go bankrupt. It might be cash insolvent. Maybe you have to take a loan, which is very high interest right now for any business. Um, we're dealing with uh, very difficult times ahead. We are dealing with probably a catastrophic event for Magic. I, I think it's coming. And I've never seen it where the buy list is only paying. It, it, it defies my expectation. Uh, when I think buy list, I think cash. I, I think 99% of people take the cash over the trade bonus. Because you're, you're not trying to get more cards. When, when you go to sell your cards, the object is not to get more cards. The object is, hey, I need more space. My wife or significant other doesn't like these things. I gotta sell them. And I don't wanna put in the work or effort because maybe my day job is more money. Yeah, I mean, at the end of, um, at the, end of the day, it is pretty, it's pretty ugly what's happening right now across the stores. And I don't think it will get any better, to be honest with you. I think it will um, only get worse as more and more stores only offer store credit. Store credit is, you know, store credit isn't um, good. Uh, it's, it's not good for this scenario. It is a very, very strange thing to talk about when you talk about store credit because uh, no, most people don't want it when they sell their entire collection, they're trying to stop playing the game. Why would you then offer them more of the game at less better? It's like, hey, here's some really cool cards that are very rare and they can sell easier. 
Uh, now let's trade them in for some cards that are mediocre and that will be harder for you to sell at any type of margin. Right? I mean, the store is not in the business to do trades that favor you. You, you should know this, right? A store or a vendor, they never do a trade that is going to favor the customer. Um, they, start, they, they have expenses, they have overhead, and they tell you this. They tell you this. They're very, many of them are very open with this. So, yeah, we have a pretty difficult situation here. I, I don't know what the solution is. I don't think, I think you just have to hold. That's my solution. Um, it's unfortunate, but it, it truly is uh, what it is. I, I can't, um, yeah, I can't imagine it, right? Anyway, guys. <laughs>